So, you want an easy way to control the spine? Not a problem. In edit mode, extrude a bone from the top of spine 2 and name it Core IK. Alt P to clear the parent and make sure it's the parent of spine 3. Go to pose mode, click Core IK, shift click spine 2 and press Control Shift C. I and set chain length to 1. Then click spine 3 and under constraints add copy location. Set target to armature, bone to spine 2, and raise head tail to 1. Awesome. Now the cool thing about this setup is her hips are now independent. So if you want to sway her hips, it won't mess up the upper body. Also, the upper body can now be moved and rotated with a single bone. And it automatically makes most of the corrections. The only problem is that the middle spine doesn't rotate with the core IK. So to fix that, we are going to add a driver. To do that, click spine 2 and under the bone tab, right click the Y rotation variable. Add driver, name the variable rot. Set object to armature and bone to core IK. Under type, set it to Z rotation and mode to quaternion. And under expression, type rot divided by 2. Update dependencies, you're done. Now, I'll explain drivers in detail later, but for now, all you gotta know is that the Y rotation of this bone will always be equal to half the rotation of the core IK. So, if we rotate her chest 80 degrees, then the bone right under it will be at 40. Now, there's a few things you can do for more control. If you want an extra controller to rotate her spine together, go to edit mode, click the base of spine 1 and extrude a bone out to the side, and name it spine 0. And make sure that spine 1's parent is spine 0. Click core IK, shift click spine 0, and press control, P to parent. Now, you still have all the independent motion for the chest and the hips, but if you want, you can rotate spine 0 to move both of them together. There is one last thing for those of you who don't like the fact that the IK handle can be dragged away from the body. To fix that, click the core IK and under constraints pick limit distance. Set target to armature, bone to spine 3, and distance to 0 0.01 or 0 0.005. And now you can see that you can no longer drag the bone away from the body. Now here is the problem. I'm pretty sure this is just a glitch the developers missed, but normally when you're done making an animation you select everything and you press Alt G and Alt R to snap everything back to its original default position. But when you have limit distance on, you can't press Alt G to revert it to its original position. You have to press it like 20 times. Now personally that's a pretty big deal breaker for me, so I don't use it and it doesn't really affect anything. So I just make sure not to drag the IK too far away manually. But it's there if you want it. Fully functioning, easy spine control. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you.